Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we will see how we can install properly CUDA Toolkit drivers and CUDNN for PC and these libraries are rarely required while developing programs which require high computational resources like in machine learning, deep learning, uh, games development and in virtual reality and uh, most of the Python packages like OpenCV, PyTorch and TensorFlow also use these kind of libraries to accelerate the process and to reduce the time for the computation and uh, that's why these libraries are really useful and uh, in order to install these libraries properly make sure you follow each step properly and uh, because every PC has different kind of GPU and architecture so uh, different kind of GPUs works with different versions of the CUDA libraries uh, so uh, make sure you watch uh, this video until end and follow each step properly to uh, properly install the libraries for your architecture and in the end we will see how we can use the python packages to work with these libraries and also we need the specific version of the python packages uh, that works with the specific version of the CUDA libraries so here we go uh, first of all we will install some CUDA libraries and after that we will install CUDNN libraries and after that we will install python development package like PyTorch and uh, we will use PyTorch to load these libraries and to work with these CUDA libraries and uh, we will see how we can install the CUDA first so open your chrome browser and type install CUDA and uh, go on this website developer.nvidia.com and uh, inside this uh, we are going to install CUDA toolkit 11.8 that works properly with uh, all type of GPUs so select Linux I have a Linux operating system and I have this kind of architecture and distribution I have Ubuntu and uh, I am using Ubuntu 20 uh, and uh, I want to install with the dep local uh, thing and uh, actually the steps uh, are the same for each version of Ubuntu and uh, you can just follow the steps for your Ubuntu version so here uh, it is uh, written that it is for Ubuntu 20.04 and here 20.04 so you can simply download this copy here and open your terminal and paste it here so and the next thing uh, you can just follow each step line by line copy and paste it here and uh, you need to give the right password here and here because we are using the sudo command so you need to type your password and the next uh, command is this and you need to type copy and paste so it is downloading the uh, CUDA 11.8.0 uh, uh, for the Ubuntu 20.04 and the next command we need is this so I'm going to copy this command so I'm just fast forwarding this uh, video for you Uh, so the downloading is done so the next command uh, we need is this so I am going to paste it here and uh, it's done so just copy and paste the next command and uh, it will take some time here and uh, now the, we will paste the next command here and after that we will update over a uh, terminal and for this we will need to type sudo apt get update and uh, after updating we need to install the CUDA so simply you can call apt get minus y install CUDA and you can copy and paste it here simply so uh, I have already installed this CUDA so it will take some time for you so CUDA is already the newest version 11.8.0 so after uh, installing make sure uh, you have installed it properly so for this uh, to check it you need to type uh, nvidia simi and it will display a window like this in which you have the name of your gpu here and it will show the percentage how much uh, gpu resources are used and it will show the memory for the gpu for example i have four gigabytes of gpu so it will show here 
and uh, it means it is installed properly and the next thing we are going to install is the qdnn library uh, to install qdnn simply go here and type install qdnn and go to this website docs and here open it and uh, go down here you need to install some prerequisites for this first of all you need to install the nvidia graphic drivers uh, for your uh, pc so simply go to the nvidia uh, download drivers and uh, choose your uh, product type and product series and product and operating system and download type and also the language and click on search so it will uh, search the driver display driver for your architecture you can simply download it and install it i have already installed it so if i uh, should install it again so it will uh, may create some conflict with the old install libraries so you can simply download and install it so this is it and uh, the next thing uh, we have already installed the CUDA toolkit for Linux and the next we need the Zlib libraries and for Ubuntu we need to uh, use this command so you, so you can simply copy and paste it here so I have already installed this and the next thing uh, this is where we can install the QDNN for the Linux and you need to go to the QDNN homepage here and uh, after this you need to click on download QDNN and uh, here you need to agree and uh, you need to install the latest version for the QDNN because it works with CUDA 11.x because we have installed the CUDA 11.8 so we need to install QDNN version 8.6.0 and uh, this version also works here with CUDA 10.2 so if you need uh, QDNN for older versions of CUDA so you can simply go here and check the older versions here for example go here and uh, here is the list of all the versions that are compatible with the specific version of the CUDA so I am going to install this QDNN version so simply go here and choose inst latest installer for Linux and we have this type of architecture you can simply uh, click on it so it will download it for you so I'm going to again fast forward Uh, the download is complete so go back here and uh, follow the next step here so uh, we have already installed uh, this uh, from the home page so we need to click download and click the sh short survey and submit if you have service so please complete the survey and click on submit and accept the terms and conditions and select QDNN version that you want to install we have already a look on these things and the next thing how we can install it using tor file i have downloaded here tor file so to install uh, the QDNN with the tor file we need to follow these steps and first of all we need to unzip the tor file and for this go to your terminal and simply use this tor uh, minus xcv and paste it here and the name of your file is qdnn press tab so it will auto complete for you so here xxx means the version of the uh, qdnn and cuda so we are using the qdnn 8.6.0 163 and cuda 11 so simply click it here so it will extract or unzip the tar file for you and uh, the next thing we are going to use these commands and uh, you need to simply copy it and copy and these commands what uh, actually do it will copy the following files into the CUDA directory so it will take some time I will fast forward it So uh, next do you have to copy this command and paste it here so it will copy some files from the QDNN uh, folder to the CUDA folder. So here and the next command is this one so you need to select this command copy and paste it again here and press enter and now the last command is this. So the installation of the QDNN is done here 
and uh, yes if you install it with the debian local installation then you need to find uh, follow this procedure so this is the simplest procedure using the tar file installation so now our cuda and kudnn is installed properly so next thing we are going to uh, test this cuda and kudnn with our python package for example with pytorch and to install the pytorch you need to again type here install pytorch and uh, you need to go here pytorch.org and you need to click on install and here you need to again select the proper architectures that uh, has that works with your CUDA version so I am going to install uh, in Linux and package if you want to install through Conda so you can select Conda so I am going to install it through pip so I can install uh, so I can select here pip and python and uh, I have download CUDA 11.8 actually so CUDA 11.7 also works with CUDA 11.8 so you can simply select here CUDA 11.7 and simply copy these commands and open your terminal and paste it here so yes so yes the libraries are downloaded for you so the next thing we are going to test so if the CUDA libraries are work with the, this PyTorch Python package so for this you need to open your Python you need to type Python 3 and now we are going to import the torch PyTorch for this you need to type import torch to check how many uh, and to check how many GPUs you have, you need to type torch dot CUDA dot device count device count and so I have one GPU in my PC, so it will display one here. So it means torch can be uh, torch is successfully to use the CUDA for the computation. And this is it for today. And next we will see how we can develop the uh, neural network architectures using these uh, libraries PyTorch, TensorFlow and how we can train our models on GPU and uh, see you next time. Bye.